Water, our most precious resource. It truly is our lifeblood since life originated from it and we could not exist without it. Have you ever wondered how a raindrop makes a journey from a cloud to your kitchen faucet? Well, today we're gonna take you on that adventure. The movement of water within the earth and atmosphere is called the water cycle. We call it a cycle because water is in constant motion, so there is no beginning or end. The water cycle can start at any point in the process, but the first step we'll take is to understand where rain comes from. Heat from the sun causes water, mainly from oceans, to warm and eventually evaporate, or in other words, change from water to a vapor. The water vapor rises in the air and eventually reaches a level in the atmosphere where it is cool enough for the vapor to change back to a liquid. This is called condensation. When water droplets grow too big to remain in the sky, they fall back to Earth as rain. In a typical rainfall event, there can be as much as one million gallons of water per square mile. During rainfall, some of the rainwater will wash off the surface into streams, oceans, and other waterways. Approximately 50% infiltrates into the ground and recharges or replenishes the aquifers. On Long Island, approximately 800 billion gallons of precipitation fall every year. Aquifers are comprised of sand and gravel and act like large underground porous sponges that store groundwater. In total, the aquifers beneath Long Island are estimated to hold between 65 and 120 trillion gallons of water, enough to take care of our needs for hundreds of years, even without a drop of rain. With all this talk about water and aquifers, let's clear up a couple of misconceptions first. For one thing, the only way water enters the groundwater system on Long Island is through precipitation. There are no underground rivers or lakes or anything of the sort. Aquifers act like almost like underground sponges, absorbing and retaining uh, water. And the way we get water out of the aquifer system is through a well similar to the one you see behind me. There are three main aquifers found throughout Long Island. The shallowest is the upper glacial, the middle one is the Magathy, and the deepest is the Lloyd Aquifer. It can take anywhere from 10 to 30 years for water to reach the upper glacial aquifer, as much as 500 years to reach the Magathy, and upwards of several thousand years to reach the Lloyd. So we know how water gets in the ground, but how do we get the water out? We do this through the construction of public supply wells, which can be anywhere from 100 to 800 feet deep in the aquifer system. Wells constructed of steel and bolstered with cement for additional sanitary protection can pump up to 2,400 gallons of water per minute. Suffolk County Water Authority has hundreds of wells in service and adds new wells every year. Wells are equipped with screens to filter out sand and gravel as water is being pumped to the surface. So how do we get water from a well to your home or business? A pump station is where we pump water from a well into our intricate system of pipes. In certain locations in which there has been heavy use of pesticides on the surface, Expensive carbon filters are used to remove contaminants from the water before it leaves a pump station. We add chlorine to water to prevent the growth of bacteria and lime to make the water less acidic. Finally, in areas where naturally occurring iron and manganese are found, filters are used to remove these elements. Once water leaves a pump station, it may be stored in one of our more than 60 elevated tanks. It may surprise you to learn that the primary function of a tank is not to store excess water, but to maintain water pressure. The water travels through thousands of miles of water main all throughout our service territory. This intricate system of pipes requires maintenance to ensure there is no disruption to your water service. The project behind me is part of our infrastructure replacement program. Here we're replacing our 8-inch water main with a brand new 12-inch cast iron ductile iron main. The Suffolk County Water Authority is constantly improving its infrastructure to increase water pressure, improve fire protection, and to prevent future water main breaks. So now you know how water goes from this to this. 
At SCWA, we're dedicated to making sure that when water gets to your faucet, it will be as pure and safe as nature intended.